This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Swain. Highlighting the role that financial services and corporate providers play in supporting the jurisdiction's wealth management services, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Financial Services, the Honorable K. Peter Turnquist, says the financial services sector deserves attention and requires good regulation to ensure its continued growth and sustainability. The DPM says we must be as jurisdiction which is organized, well-regulated and replete with competent world-class professionals and certainly open for business. He was speaking today at the Financial and Corporate Services Providers Act 2000 industry briefing hosted by the Securities Commission of the Bahamas. In other business news, one local company is developing an app it hopes will lessen the frustration of road users. Officials from United Data is developing a free helpful application or app for mobile devices. The tool will allow citizens to alert relevant government agencies to nuisances like streetlights that are out of order, roads in need of urgent repair, fallen power lines or malfunctioning streetlights and other likes. President Quincy Rose says they expect the app to broaden the scope of communication between citizens and government. For these as more desirable than social media, the app will offer a whole new level of accountability, tracking the entire process for the user beginning when the complaint was launched and ending at its successful closure. And in international business news, following widespread outrage over a passenger who was violently dragged off an overbooked plane, United States Airlines are booking customers at the lowest rates in at least two decades. The Transportation Department said today that just one in every 19,000 passengers was kicked off an overbooked flight in the first six months of this year. That's the lowest rate since the government started keeping track in 1995. Well, that was your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Swain.